It is time to play the new biggest and best hockey game. We are talking about tape to tape. Over the course of this weekend, this game had 15,000 live viewers. Meanwhile, NHL had less than 200. I don't know. We might be seeing a new beginning. This game very well may be taken over, and we are going to continue the story mode today. If you guys don't know what tape to tape is, this is a wacky arcade-style hockey game with crazy power-ups. We're trying to save the world, and we've got all sorts of players that we're trying to do it with. In Act 1, we built our roster and ended up taking on the referees in a three-period showdown. They did everything in their power to cheat the game, call off goals, they even threw the pucks to their own players on the face-offs, but they took the L. Now we have advanced to Act 2, the unknown. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going on, but today we'll find out. Also, the full early release of Tape to Tape is now available. I'll toss a link in the description below. I'm not getting paid to say this. I just like the game. So if you want to test it out for yourself, go give it a shot. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, first things first, you guys know the drill. We got to jam a little bit. The menu music still going hard as ever. <laughs> Let's go. Hey! So here we are back in the campaign. We got our locksmith here. He's forging a hockey stick. He's buzzing. Again, I don't really know what's going on with the story mode. Like, we're just traveling the world medieval times trying to, to, to grow hockey and save the world. I don't know, man. We're going to find out. Okay, so we hit continue here, and we are now back in the medieval world. So we have two options to start. We just came over from that left side. There was, like, the squid thing that we saw. Now we're here, and we have our choices. Choice number one is to do a challenge. That looks sick. And then we have an event, which is more like training and earning the power. Ups. I've never done a challenge, so that's what we're getting into today. Now, take a look at our roster. We have the McShaggy brothers who have been buzzing. We got Matthew, Mental, and of course, Charlotte Chapstick. So since the last time we've played, they've added a ton of different power-ups. We have the classics, the tomahawk where you throw your stick, the yo-yo. We also have a referee that's going to just punch the opposition, a goalie dance. So the entire team dances anytime the goalie makes the save. And our team also has shrunk a little bit, but gained speed in the process. The team is looking good. We'll build them up as we go. Let's hop in to our first ever challenge. All right, our challenge is versus the Spartans. It is a first goal wins. If we win, we're going to get one of those talent power-ups that we mentioned earlier. So this is a big game for the fellas. All right, let's go here. First goal wins. I love these first goal wins when these are sick, dude. It, it goes so fast, too. So not much has changed in terms of the gameplay. The gameplay is still what we know and love. They did a super good job. Like, it is so smooth. Look at that. Look at his passing. Matthew! Get up in here! Hey, Matthews. Matthews might be dead. Hook on a string. Hook on a string! Get in the net. So I do have a bit of a, a mistake that I made. I have Charlotte Cha I can't say this name. Charlotte Chapstick on defense. And I think she's my smallest girl on the ice. So we might need to rotate the roster around at some point and get like McShaggy back. Oh! The ref! The ref! Bang! McShaggy! He's chucking sticks! Dude, the ref came in and bopped their guy that was on me. I cut around and we find that far side. What a start here in act two that's what i'm saying the power-ups are game changers like that one there that we don't score that goal if the ref doesn't come in and bop it in the head huge win for the fellas we're gonna get a new talent get a new power up let's see what our choices are so there's also some sort of currency in the game we have uh 32 rubber I, don't, I have not had the chance to spend those yet, so I think we're just accumulating them for now. And here is going to be our choice. Throw your stick forward when shooting. So we're going to like rip a clapper and then the stick's going to fly forward and the puck's going to trail behind it. That sounds nuts. Puck puncher, when knocked out, will punch the puck towards the opposing goal so we get hit and we still get a shot on net. And faster shot release and recovery. I mean, fury stick just sounds like it's going to be chaos. So I think we have to try this. We do have our choice of who we want to give this to, so I think it's going to make the most sense to give it to a forward obviously matthews he's been scoring some goals we're gonna we're gonna put it on matthews so we took on the challenge now we're gonna have our training i think overall is probably the play here let's just get better overall i mean i, I feel like accuracy in this game doesn't really mean all that much and now we have our first elite game we're at the castle too i'm hoping the environment like changes like this could look really sick we're taking on princess princess peach in a two-period battle who's there not the not that prince again look at mcshaggy looking fresh over there wait what my 
My brother? Wait! Oh, this is McShaggy's sister. This is sick. I've journeyed halfway around the world, too. You finally came to your senses and are ready to admit hockey is the superior sport. <laughs> Let's go. I wanted to ask your assistant, but what's that smell? Prove your worth on the ice and I might join your quest. Okay, so we can pick up the princess. Oh, this is huge. Dude, this game is wacky, man. All right, we're taking on the princess. She's got the, uh, oh, she has the double sticks up top there too. So she's, I think she has the double sticks for the stick throwing. I have that as well on McShaggy, I believe. So the brother and sister combo, watch this. Sick throw, sick throw. <gasps> Okay, well, all right. Now, something I forgot to mention earlier. For some reason, I, I got this power-up where if they're near my goalie, my goalie farts and it lets out a cloud. Okay, I, I think the princess has that too. <gasps> oh! Boom! There's one McShaggy. Let's go here, fellas. McShaggy putting on a show in front of his family. Let's go. Big goal. Okay, stick the... Oh my gosh, dude, that accuracy. That was from across the map, too. I tried to run away from it. I couldn't. Ooh. Oh, that was that stick throw clapper. Dude, watch this shot. I don't think our goalie had a chance. Maybe he got distracted by, like, the stick going towards the net. And it, like, redirected it to that left side. So we got to get the puck to Matthew and go for that secret shot. I think that could be huge for us. Wait, Matthew has the ability, but I don't see it. Let's see if it happens here. Slap shot. Oh, he does have it. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. This team is so much better than any team we've faced so far. We got 10 seconds. We're going to go one last rush up the ice. Three, two. Oh, I thought it went in. I thought it went in, but that was the stick, not the puck. What a save. And we survived period one. Everything on the line. If we lose, we are done with the career. We got to restart the entire like hour and a half campaign that I just did off stream. I still have not figured out like a surefire way to score goals. Like obviously you play NHL 23, you know the glitch goals. I have not found one yet. I think there's kind of a nice move that you can do with the LT. So watch this. We come down the ice. Little LT. Oh! That's the LT move I was talking about. Now, usually it doesn't work, but because their goalie came out for that flying poke, we just hit the LT, zoom around, and boom, we got ourselves a goal. <gasps> what a block! What a block! Oh, McShaggy! Dude, this guy is putting his life on the line for us now. He's open back door. McShaggy! Oh, okay. Barely, barely pokes it away. Their goalie loves <gasps> ref. Also, I would like to say we got confirmation from the devs. I think the last time we made a video on this game, there was question. We thought one of the refs looked like me. It was actually me. So they put me in the game as one of the referees. You might see me in there. If you see somebody that looks like me, you know, be nice to him out on the ice, all right? We got 10 seconds here. They're going to be going all out. No shots, no rebounds, nothing. I save. I save. Three, two, one. And the fellas have survived. We are picking up Princess Peach to join the roster and join our quest to save the world. Let's go. Dude, not just the menu music, but the, the post-game music as well. Let's go. So there's the roster that they have. It looks like Clementine McShaggy is going to be joining. So we got Angus, Rory, and Clementine McShaggy. We got Jack Hughes, Luke Hughes, Quinn Hughes joining the roster. Let's get it. We have Berserk, which is play stickless to automatically try and body check every opposing player. And Point Sniper, which is bonus accuracy when shooting from the blue line. Dude, Berserk feels like it's just going to be chaos in a bad way like there's no way that goes well but you know it's the one that i have to pick too let's put it on mental we'll put it on mental okay i saw a little sniper icon pop up there i'm not sure i might have put up the wrong one we'll see uh, mental might be the berserker i don't know what's going on here we did the challenge last time let's just go ahead and bump up we're, we're gonna take the event randomize every talent and skill of every player we can accept or we can decline that. Why would I take that? I've got like a good range of players. Like each of my players has their own power-ups and everything now. I think I think we're good. I, I actually like the lineup and, and the power-ups that we have. So we're going to decline that. So we're moving across the farmland here. We're taking on another elite game. And it is going to be the Crusader. We get an artifact. The artifacts are the biggest ones. Like that affects everything. So this is a huge game. Okay, so we have a knight, a knight there. A golfer on the king's lands? You think that McShaggy looks like a golfer over there? We trusted the tentacle Tom to keep your con from interfering with our sacred hockey ground. So hockey right now is like this exclusive sport that only the royalty can play. And we're trying to like fire our way through the different systems to get to the top. Hockey is slipping away from us. I'd actually love to help you with that. All right, 
Shaggy's got to show these guys what they can do now. We got we to gotta keep the ice cold here on the farmland. Oh, dude, what are these guys? That guy's got to be like seven foot six. Dude, this is going to be a battle out here. This is so bad. So let's see if our stick even... Okay, our stick... Oh! Oh, my... Oh my gosh, dude, what is happening? Okay, our stick's flying. We're gonna rip this. Ref, get out of the way. The ref's standing in front of the net with his arms wide. He expects me to be able to shoot the puck. Dude, this game is just nuts. So let's get it up here. I'm gonna go for the Y. Boom, see his helmet falls off. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe let him get up and then hit him again. So let's go for this again. I think I missed him. We did miss him. And he got his helmet back, okay. So if his helmet falls off, he's gotta take the time to go and get it, which is not... <gasps> Try to find that backhand. Not quite. Find the back door. Oh, another good clapper. We do have that crazy st The stick, though, might hurt us more than it. Oh! oh Make Shaggy! Look at this guy, Selly, too. Let's go, Shags. Nice finish, buddy. Oh. We also have Mental that's trying to only go for the hits. But Mental is also potentially the smallest guy that I have on the ice. Okay, yeah, this guy doesn't have a hockey stick, dude. This is so bad. I feel like half the power-ups that I picked up have made me substantially worse. Three, two, get a shot. Not quite, but we still do have our 1-0 lead. So after this game, we've got to check and see if we can change our power-ups around and if I can, like, turn them off. Because obviously a lot of these are not, uh, not necessarily helping us out all right let's get the puck to shaggy i think if we go for the let's go for the sick throw so there's one down boom <laughs> yo when you go like a nasty power up right into a goal it's the most satisfying thing also my stick went flying into the stands if i didn't have an extra stick there's no shot we were scoring that goal so that's big let's go and again i think i mentioned this last time if we can just pay attention to the little details in this game the knights they have like swords at the end of their hockey sticks that's the stuff the kind of love the kind of little things that you just don't get from nhl 23 or anything else like they're putting in the work to get the fine details right you love to see it okay yeah this is so bad dude we're just playing down a man because boys i might be the best tape to tape player to ever do it no one else is doing what i'm doing right now what a play what a move and what a finish from another McShaggy. All right, three, two, one, and it doesn't matter. We got the W, three, zero. Like I said, this is the artifact unlock, which is the biggest one. So this, this is the game that we wanted to win the most today. And we're gonna see what we have that affects our team. High flyer, lobbed passes are two times higher, gain speed on a successful body check, or bench warmers gain a random shooting talent. I feel like gaining the speed could be huge. Like imagine you get three hits in a row, like bop 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 and then you're at 99 overall speed that might be the play lob passes being two times i never really used the lob passes i don't quite understand the lob passing yet so we're gonna go the lucky molar i think our journey is gonna stop here for today so we have a couple different choices leading into next episode and then at the end there is going to be our big boss battle something about this game just brings me back man it takes me back to the nhl three on three arcade game with all the crazy power-ups high speed action the gameplay is smooth it's fun and the story mode definitely has has some potential as well we got to see where this thing takes us overall i definitely see why tape to tape is getting so much love and so much hype right now again if you guys want to play this game for yourself go and test it out i'm having an absolute blast i'm looking at my roster right now and i thought we were going to have the princess added to our squad but it seems we do not yet so maybe that'll happen after we defeat the boss and we get to pick up a couple new players but for now we're stuck with what we have i hope you guys are enjoying this tape to tape series as much as i am if you you are hit the video with a like hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 milli and we'll see you guys next episode peace